Bear the turkey. Bear the turkey. Daryl was excited about having Thanksgiving at his friend Jessica's house. Then his mom said the word vegetarian while they were stopped at a red light. They're what? Daryl asked. Vegetarian, dear, it means they don't eat meat, his mom replied. I know what it means, Daryl snapped. This is a potluck, though, right? So someone else will bring the turkey. I doubted it. His mom said they asked everyone to bring vegetarian dishes. Having no Thanksgiving on things, having no turkey on Thanksgiving is just plain crazy. How are they going to make stuffing? Daryl moaned. I'm going to starve. You might be surprised, his mom said with a wink. But Daryl didn't believe her. I need more than rabbit food for Thanksgiving, he muttered. His mom laughed as they pulled into the driveway of Jessica's house. Jessica burst out on the front door looking excited to see them. She gave Daryl and his mom big welcome hugs before taking them inside. The in she introduced them to her parents and the other guests in Daryl's mind. Her parents looked a little too well fed to be vegetarians. I want to show you the dining room, Jessica said. Mom, let me decorate it this year, and I made the salad. The dining room was fully decorated. Chairs of different color contrasted paper hung from everything, including around all the chairs. Jessica had even woven multicolor placemats for each place of at the table. How are we supposed to sit down, Darius asked. I hadn't thought of that, Jessica thought, laughed. I guess we'll just have to break the chain. On the table sat the biggest bowl of salad Daryl had ever seen. Green leafy things stuck out from the top. He could also make out onions, carrots, tomatoes, and what might have been beet. So this is it, Daryl asked, looking at the salad, how much would he have to eat to feel full? Isn't it fantastic, Jessica asked. Oh, it's wonderful. The best I've seen. Daryl said it was an impressive salad, but it was only a salad. He didn't want to be rude, though. Maybe he and his mom could get some real food afterwards. Then they could laugh about their guinea pig Thanksgiving. I'm glad you like it, Jessica said. We usually play board games until dinner is ready. Want to play? Sure, Daryl asked, said. Confused, it looked to him as though dinner was ready. Playing board games with everyone was a blast, and Daryl met some cool people. Most of the guests weren't vegetarians either. I've never had a better dinner than I've had in the, this house, said one. This family sh should open a restaurant, said another. Daryl figured they were being polite because Jessica's family was right there. Either that or they really liked Sally. Finally, Jessica's mom said it was time to eat and everyone filled into the colorful dining room. The room had changed. Every surface was filled with plates, bowls, and dishes of food. Dario didn't know the names of half of them. Everyone broke through the chains, through the chains sat down, and started passing the food around. There were mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, bean and cheese, Hamalus and vegetarian jelly. Someone had bought a, brought a small vegetarian turkey that j jiggled on the table and tasted nothing like turkey. Dario tried some sweet potatoes and yams, which he learned are two different plants. He also learned that stuffing made without a turkey is called dressing. He even had some of Jessica Sal and some and told her he loved it because he did. 
After the, that, the dessert, his mom leaned over and whispered, "I told, I told you that you'd be surprised." Dario opened his mouth to talk, but then leaned back in his chair. But with a sigh, "I am too full to argue," he said.